I just finished sanding, puttying, and putting yet another layer of white primer on Truby's cabinet to hold his one-to-one -one wall mount comm unit. You will see a picture of that after this little video. At any rate, we'll see some more work, some more carpentry, some more painting and detailing, and a whole lot more right next after this. Woohoo! All righty then. I picked up some more supplies at Home Depot, as you can see. And I'm getting ready to work on several things. Not everything is right here. Uh, we've got framing lumber for framing up the armrests on the captain's chair. Got some primer. I've got a thing of putty. I've got to putty both the captain's chair and Jack's base and Lance's base. I've also got to do some work on the one-to-one -one Nomad. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and work on the impulse engine for the 11-foot Enterprise and work on the BC deck and the bridge for the 11-foot original series. I'm also going to be doing a little work on a couple of other things, and I will show that as we get to it. All righty then. As you see, I painted the top and sides after sanding with the orbital sander on Jack's base. This is going to be his cabinet that, work, that holds all the main guts for the 1/350th original series Enterprise. The base is slightly longer than the actual Enterprise, and I'm going to go over it with one thin coat of putty and probably two or three more coats of primer white. Now, I've sanded on the BC deck once again to smooth and shape everything. It looks like it's coming into shape. As you can see here, this is the actual template that I printed up from the 3D model. And I can assure you, it fits almost perfectly. Now, I'm gonna start cutting lumber for the original series captain's chair that I'm making for Truby. I'm gonna use this hardboard right here for the outside to hold the upholstery. And then that's going to attach to the framework that you see that's going to be made as per this blueprint and the measurements therein. Also, I've got the impulse engine here to hold down the paper. And I'm gonna be doing some cutting and filling on the impulse engine to get it into 100% proper shape. I'm leaving just a little bit extra so that I've got an opportunity to smooth it and shape it right into the shape it's supposed to be and to fit the upper primary hull. Now this, I wanted to speak on this briefly. This is how you create a blueprint. This is the right way to do it, okay? And how you do it is, you make sure that you give all the dimensions for each cut, each angle, and the overall dimensions, height, width, and thickness of each part. This is the proper way to do a blueprint when designing anything. Now, these templates are just like the templates that I showed in a previous video. These are of the four inch bridge. This was a sectioned out section of the original model. We took the original model and modified it greatly. We thickened up the walls, we made some changes, and we made it fit the Matt Jeffries blueprints and measurements given to us from a guy that worked on two different fan films. So I think we're pretty much right on the mark because we got the same measurements from someone that worked on trials and tribulations. Yes, it's true. The DS9 episode that recreated the complete toss sets, the Klingon battle cruiser, Space Station K7, and the 66 inch Enterprise. At any rate, I'm gonna paint the top of the BC deck and see where I need to add a little extra putty here and there. I'm going to cut on the impulse engine and get it into shape. I'm going to double check my shape with the template. 
And I'm gonna cut some lumber for the Madison chair part of the captain's chair that will sit inside the existing cradle. And there it is. And it's almost exactly the shape it needs to be. I've got to add a little filler and add a little material and I'm pretty much good to go. Uh, it fits the template. There's just a little bit left over. It's not quite 100% centered, but it's clear that when I cut it down to size, because it's really a little bit too tall right now, when I cut it down to size, I'm going to have a little bit of extra to do, but not a whole lot. So thus far, I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I can't get enough of it. All righty then. I just came in from outside. We lost our daylight. I'm in the very back of the shop where I've got some of my build stacked up I wanted to show Jack's huge command Delta 22 inches long this is going to go on top of the model base and here you see the impulse engine I just did a rough cut on the rectangular sl slots for the impulse engine I'm going to build two small rectangular boxes and center them and then go in around them and fill in the little areas that need to be filled in. Then I'm going to light it and test it. And this, ah, this is the base plate for Truby's one-to-one comm unit that I just did the cabinet on. Back here is the one-to-one -one Nomad that I just worked on and I will be working on it some more tomorrow as well as the 350 refit, the 350 original series, the 1.6 Guardian Gate, and the 25th scale Guardian Gate. So, along with whatever else I can work in during the day. So there you go, more to come, hoo hoo. I just keep getting stronger. You know that, don't you?